Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Who's here? Look who's back. Indy's back. Back again. We're watching Indy for a little bit today, a couple of hours while my parents are babysitting. So my parents could take in, oh, could take Indy with them down there while they babysit, but these two have so much fun together. What are you doing? What? Oh, and you're in. Hi. Hi. You're not gonna get in with her, Kira? You can get in with her. You wanna get in with her? You look hot. You should get in the pool. No? Kira's like, nah, I mean, I want to, but I'm not sure if I want to. Go, Kira, go! Go, go! You got it! Oh my goodness! You did it! Oh, look at how she gonna drown you. <laughs> you did it! So all I did was stand behind her and encourage her to jump. I don't actually have to push her or anything. She needs somebody to stand behind her and encourage her. But she's getting better at it. She getting better at it, unlike Memphis. Memphis is like, I am not getting in that pool. I am not doing it. The neighbors are power washing their house. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Is it the greatest? Guys, is that the greatest? It's the greatest. You feel better now that you're wet? She's like, yeah, I feel better now that I'm wet. Yeah, see, now you're nice and cool. Now you can play and run around. That's how this works. Here, she is getting big. Look at her. Look how big she is compared to Jamie. She's getting big. Like every time we see her, it's like, oh, you're bigger. She should probably weigh about what Memphis does when she's full grown. Maybe a little less. She's like, I really like you. Hi, Indy. Mom and dad are on their way. Mom and dad are on their way. They're going to come get you and take you home. So you're not going to get to play anymore. You better get your playing in now. You'll notice Memphis isn't out here. Memphis was like, please leave me alone. All your claws are sharp, but we should trim them right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we should trim your nails. Yeah, we probably should. So, Indy just went home. The dogs are having some lunch, and we just got a box in the mail. Ta -da! So, the next portion of this video is sponsored by our amazing friends at HomeChef.com. Link down below and a coupon code if you guys want to get your own Home Chef box. I already opened it up and peeked inside. We got cheddar corn spinach salad. That looks good and it's hot today, so that might be good for today. Almond crusted chicken. Ooh, cheesy Spanish roll. Ooh, that might have to be it. What do you think? She's like, me, me, me. And some stroganoff turkey meatballs. And for those of you that may be wondering, look, I told you, they come packed in ice. So everything comes packed, there's ice on the top, there's ice on the bottom, and then everything is in its own little individual bag. So come on back later to see what we're gonna make for dinner. So as I said before, there will be links down in the video description below for you guys to get your own home chef box. Convenient, shows up, I don't have to figure out what to make for dinner for the next four days. Also, if you've never been on their website and checked it out, everything is really customizable. You can add different things or subtract different things. And, uh, you can make the meals basically what you want, which is kind of nice. And they have a big variety to choose from. So even if you're a picky eater, which I'm a pretty picky eater, <laughs> believe it or not, I always have been able to find something that I can enjoy from Home Chef. So be sure to go check it out. And as I said, come back later to see what we're going to have for dinner. Now it's time to go work on the office. Even though you guys don't have any idea what that means because I already have an office. Let me show you. So you guys kind of saw me do the remodel of this, which this was the spare bedroom that we turned into my office. And then this room is the big office that has all kinds of stuff. The big desk that Jamie made is in here. And well, as you can tell, I'm pulling things down and you know, giving it a good cleaning. And I might paint these walls because they only actually had one coat of paint on them. But I'm turning this back into the office and turning the other room back into a spare bedroom. Part of the reason is this room is bigger. The other part of the reason is this room does have more light and we kind of really do need a spare bedroom upstairs. Having a spare bedroom in the basement just does not work when we have 
friends and family that come over to visit. Jamie actually moved his computer downstairs. I think we talked about this a little bit. So his computer is now down there with the pool table and he's got the TV and I never really worked in this room even when we had it as a two rooms. I would come in here and play games with him but I never worked in here. I always worked in the living room. Cause like when I podcast and when I record and things like that it kind of needed to be quiet. So it was hard to do those things while he was sitting right next to me. So I always did them out there. So anyway, long story short, we're gonna turn this back into my off, back into a office. It'll be my office. And then I think Jamie's gonna stay downstairs, except for when we play games together, either I'll go down there or he'll come up here. Something like that, but uh, that's um, kind of what I'm working on right now. I took all the stuff down off the shelves and washed it and dusted it and did all the things. And that's, um, I've been organizing files. That's been a task. I'm getting rid of this little file cabinet, but I went through all the papers and I got rid of anything that I didn't really need anymore. So yeah, oh, what's this? So it's a little dark, but that was the house that Jamie and I lived in when we lived in Arizona. So this picture was taken on July 11th, 2000. So we had only been there about 10, about 12 days because we moved out there right at the end of December. Yeah, that was actually my aunt's house. We lived with her for a couple years. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, maybe. Well, anyway, you get the picture. <laughs> get it, get the picture. Look, cactuses. <laughs> yes, this was actually the house that we lived in when we got Shiloh, believe it or not. I actually found a lot of really cool stuff while going through all this paperwork. This was when Shiloh was featured on a lottery ticket and she was on the front page of the paper. And this is made and laminated so that I could make sure to keep the article. This was so cute. This was a birthday card that Jamie made for me. Look, two Huskies and it says record. <laughs> this was on my birthday and it says wait until you see the wonderful birthday cake we made for you and look he drew that that's memphis on the table as a puppy because she was still just a puppy um <laughs> wishing you many more years of love and joy and the ability to record it all this was in 2013 that was seven years ago it was just a few years into our youtube career i guess you could call it and he was we're, I can't believe we're still doing it now, but anyway, I thought that was cute. I had to share that with you guys. You know, I think that thing needs to just stay right here. <laughs> she was in Memphis a minute ago. She was completely the other year. Was she? <laughs> I, don't, I really don't see any reason why it can't stay there. Who cares if it takes up half the living room? Nobody else comes over except for us. And the dogs absolutely love it. And I just feel like in the basement, it doesn't get used. In the office, it is kind of in the way. But right here, it's perfect. It's perfect. Leave it right here. Look at how happy your dogs are. All right, everybody, vote in the comments. <laughs> See, if that's the case, I think there's a couple other dog beds that could probably go. I think so, too. So it's like, wait, no, don't get rid of my dog bed. Mm -hmm. You can't get rid of my dog bed. That one. That one can go. That's the one that gets used the least. Well, I guess you use that one when you chew on stuff. There's the face. There it is, right there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like to say greatest, greatest moment of my life ever. Greatest moment of my life ever. Look at that smile. Look at that. Look at that smile. Yeah. It's shoulders. Uh-huh. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. She's shedding like crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, her shoulders were shedding pretty well. Oh, yeah! Are you losing that puppy coat finally? You haven't really had a good shed yet. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. You're so happy. You look pretty happy, too. Look, I can even fit right there. It's big enough for the whole family. It's dinner time, so we're going to make this, which is an oven-ready meal from Home Chef, which... Looks really good, and I don't think we've had this recipe at all yet, so we're gonna give this a try and see what we think. So we pull out the bag labeled with what we have. Oh, gee. oh my goodness, I'm bumping into things. Hi, welcome to the kitchen. Are you gonna help me make dinner? Your sister's outside, does that mean you get all the snacks? You don't get no snacks. You get your own snacks. We're making dinner for us. Memphis, are you hungry too? Memphis, are you hungry too? It's not your dinner time yet. You can eat after we eat. I'm gonna make some dinner. <laughs> These oven ready meals are my favorite because you just open it up and whoosh, follow the instructions. There's that half. All right. What'd that take me? 35 minutes? 
Yeah, Super together, fast. Put it together, throw it on, right? All right, taste test. Careful, it's probably hot. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. That chicken mm -hmm. looks amazing. Memphis says, that chicken looks amazing. <laughs> no, <come on. laughs> can't have it. Oh, here, I got, I got one. <laughs> All right, we'll let you do the chicken taste test and tell us what you think. It looks so good. I always like how like soft the chicken turns out when I make it in the home chef boxes. How come I can't do that on my own? You can. Well, I think I haven't been able to yet. <laughs> Takes more work. Yeah, but the, well, their directions always make it perfect. Right. It's hot. Is that good? Mm. <laughs> it's like a taco seasoning on the top. Is it? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's weird. It, it makes it taste like a like a chicken taco. Huh. Well, mm, good. That's pretty good. Well, I'm gonna eat my food now. Mm -hmm. Dinner was good. It was amazing. Again, as always, links in the video description below to get your own home chef box. These girls are getting a little prancy prancy. Do you want to go for a walk? No. Do you want to go for a walk? Nothing. Do you want to you go for a walk? Tell me. Tell me or we're not going anywhere. You want to go for a walk? Do you? What is this? The silent treatment. Uh, what? The silent what? treatment. Uh, uh, what? Huh? You wanna go for a walk? What? What? Huh? Do you? Huh? Huh? Whoa, what are you doing? You wanna go? Tell me. Tell me. One of y'all better tell me. One of y'all better tell me or we're not going. It's the quietest you've been. They're like, we're used what? to getting asked every day now. Yeah, there it what? is. You wanna go? Can you hear you? Tell me. I can't speak. Hear you. Can you speak? Speak. Speak. Come on, tell me. Come on. Huh? Yeah, you want to go for a walk, huh? You want to go for a walk? Tell me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? All right, let's go for a walk. I still got to find my shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness, did we take you on the best walk ever? Now, before you have dinner, you got to cool off a little, okay? The AC's on. It was a little humid out today, huh? A little humid, guys. It was a little hot for a walk. But we went for a walk. You already went for a walk! You already did it! Are you in there getting water already? Yeah? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Alright, go chill out for 15 minutes, and then you can have your dinner. Go get your water and chill out. You can do this. Alright, you guys. That is all we have for today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Go to bed. We got one. Go to bed. We got two. Go on, all the way. Go. Zoom. Good night, audience. I see you peeking. I'm coming. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs